Hello everybody, welcome to this week's update video. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Um, thank you for bearing with us while we sorted out the Inkscape release. Uh, so if you're not aware, last week we had a um, 20, 20th anniversary celebration online. Uh, we had a big party, there were about 60 people, both users and contributors, who came to basically a sort of live stream, but not recorded. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we were there for like four hours. Um, there was a lot of great exchanges and a lot of great uh, discussions about things. Uh, and then we released 1.3.1, uh, which, as you know, I've been working on for a couple of months, doing lots of bug fixes, lots of stuff. And then we release it and it turns out there was a, an error. Uh, basically, a data destroying error where stars, swirls, and 3D boxes would not be saved correctly into the SVG file. Um, the reason why this wasn't caught in testing is because if you open up that SVG file in Inkscape, uh, the data gets regenerated from uh, basically other attributes that are attached to the, uh, the data. Uh, but if you open those uh, files in a web browser or some other SVG tool, or you saved as plain SVG, which strips all of those Inkscape-based attributes out, uh, the data would be destroyed. Um, not good. So we had to scramble to basically, first of all, figure out what was going on, figure out like how it happened, and then uh, reconstruct a fix. Uh, we also need to be able to not, not just fix the issue so we stop destroying data, but also be able to um, uh, fix files that when you open them up in Inkscape and we detect that it was created in 1.3.1, we've run some extra code to basically reconstruct them. Um, a lot of thanks goes out to um, Javier for fixing the issue um, with Mark for basically helping with testing and, and going through issues. Um, KLR, who did the same with, with testing. Um, and we are, you know, it's been a whole team effort. We figured that we might get a break after the release so that we could kind of take a breather. Uh, but unfortunately, sometimes these things happen. You make a release, something wasn't caught and uh, everything goes wrong. So this week has been the United States Thanksgiving week. Um, and I was hoping to take a sort of take it easy but um, unfortunately um, work has interluded but today in fact Mark has just said that he has cut the 1.3.2 release um, I know it's only been a week but uh, 1.3.2 will be out today it'll contain that fix uh, it also contains a fix for a, a text error that was introduced with my new um, glyph to text. Essentially, if there was carriage returns inside of the text field, uh, it was adding at sim symbols. It's a pretty easy fix. I managed to get that in as well. Um, as well as those fi fixes, we actually investigated uh, crashes that Windows users were reporting. They installed 1.3.1 and then Inkscape would crash immediately, like they couldn't even open it. Uh, after a lot of investigation, this turned out to be because uh, they had installed 1.3.1 on top of 1.3, and uh, for some reason, Inkscape does not like this. So my best advice to everybody who uses Windows is uninstall Inkscape first, then reinstall whatever the new version is. Um, sorry for the extra work, but um, people are investigating why that happens. But just so you know, the best thing is, is to uninstall first, then do a fresh install. Okay. Oh, by the way, thank you for all of the people who helped me spend time on Inkscape. Um, if you didn't know, if you're first time to this channel, um, my Inkscape work is paid for by uh, users just like you, who basically believe in the mission that users should have control over the free and open source software that they use in their work, and that they should be able to direct what work happens. And so collectively, you guys come together and you help pay for my time. Um, this is done through Patreon and LibrePay, uh, sometimes PayPal, sometimes other things. Um, and basically, I make these videos so you know what I'm up to and you know the work that you're paying for and you get to see what is happening behind the curtains. So thank you all so much for all of your continued help. 
um, you know, where I'm still looking out for more sponsors. So if you're a corporate sponsor, especially, I'm interested. Please talk to me. Um, let's talk about some of the color work. Um, as you know, for the last few weeks, I've been dealing with color refactoring. Um, I'm at the point now where um, most of my tests are passing. So I basically built an entire test suite for um, making sure that I could parse, output, convert, do all of the things necessary to colors internally in Inkscape. This is all in preparation for making sure that Inkscape can do CMYK uh, and like more advanced color pro processing properly and maintainably. So that basically means that as we go forwards, we don't want a situation where any new features that I've added for color support ends up making Inkscape more expensive to maintain in the future. So I'm spending the extra time making doing the refactoring work, right? The, the, the back end grunt work. Um, it's looking good. I'm, I'm very happy with the code that's being produced. It's, it is going to have to go through review. I've got a couple of uh, other Inkscape people who I know are going to be interested to make sure that I get all of the memory stuff right uh, and to make sure that I'm just doing the most C++ and you know programmer good work. Uh, always good to get a re review. Okay, um, so that's what I've been up to. Uh, as you, I started off with basically what the pro project has been up to, which is basically f scrambling to figure out how to deal with the release. Um, there is some other stuff going on. Um, you know, uh, Mikov has been think thinking about some stuff. We had an entire developer meeting dedicated towards uh, trying to decide when the GTK4 branch, which is basically a new version of Inkscape that uses the new GTK4 widget fra framework, when that should be merged. Uh, big, big discussion on basically risk management. Um, I think that's about it. I would say that if you're interested in working on Inkscape, uh, jump in. Um, now is a great time to jump in with especially documentation and maybe you want to help with social media or some other stuff. Uh, there's always some extra, extra work that you can help with Inkscape if you would like to. Uh, and also donations. Donations are also good. Um, so thank you all very much for watching my update videos. I will see you in a week's time and um, hopefully I'll have you know even more to say about the color management refactoring um let me know in the comments about the release let me know about your bugs um yeah and i will see you next time